Iranian drones became missiles. This is a phrase used by Western military sources regarding the new generation of Iranian drones. A term that refers to the unprecedented increase in destructive power and performance of Iranian suicide drones and has cast aside traditional concepts. In recent years, field and technological developments in Iranian weaponry, especially in the field of suicide drones, have brought about a fundamental change. The disappearance of the boundary between a cheap suicide drone and an expensive advanced cruise missile. What is now seen on battlefields from the Middle East to Eastern Europe is a conceptual and functional evolution that has brought drones into the domain of strategic weapons. In the skies of modern warfare, Iranian suicide drones, especially the Shahed 136 family, are transitioning from being inexpensive, mass-produced tools to weapons with the power and accuracy of cruise missiles. Recent developments in warhead design, engine, flight structure, and operational methods of these drones have presented a new image of what is called a suicide drone. A transformation that others, such as China, the US, Ukraine, and Arab African countries, have been forced to imitate. New reports from the analytical institute ISIS show that the Jaran or Shahed 136, after nearly two years of operational experience, has now achieved new capabilities. The turning point in this evolution is the increase in the warhead weight from 50 to 90 kilograms. This upgrade is not merely an increase in warhead mass, but a combination of advanced design, new explosive materials, and multifunctional capabilities including fragmentation, armor piercing, and incendiary features, which bring the Shahed 136 close to the destructive thresholds of cruise missiles. This new warhead is made from a combination of TNT and RDX, and metallic hydride powder has been used in its structure to increase the explosion temperature to above 3,500 degrees Celsius, so that even industrial and reinforced targets are more likely to be destroyed. This change has increased destructive power by approximately 40%, it should be noted that since the beginning of the Russian New Year, Russia has on average launched more than 2,000 Shahed-136 drones per month towards various targets. In other words, based on Russian and European sources, more than 6,000 drones have been launched in recent months, nearly three times the number of cruise missiles launched by Russia. On the other hand, according to leaked documents, the maximum cost of each 136 drone is about $900,000 per unit, which likely has decreased due to mass production. Meanwhile, the cost of a single KH-55 cruise missile, which has a similar range to the Jaran drones, reaches $4 million. Other new changes include engine upgrades and the addition of an anti-icing system, which allows this drone to fly at an altitude of 3,000 meters with a speed of over 200 kilometers per hour an altitude at which interception becomes practically difficult for interceptor helicopters and mobile air defense systems, especially in frontline battles. It is worth mentioning that the effective engagement altitude for conventional anti-aircraft guns with calibers of 20, 23, and 30 millimeters is about 2,500 meters. Therefore, the increased flight altitude gives the drones relative immunity. Another notable point is the drone's steep altitude maneuvering capability. If needed, the geranium can suddenly drop from an altitude of several kilometers to 50 meters to evade enemy radars or, in the final attack phase, dive accurately onto the target. In other words, this upgrade pertains to the drone's flight structure and planner. According to available data, new models of the Shahed 136 can dive toward the target from an altitude of two kilometers at speeds exceeding 400 kilometers per hour. This type of steep angle high-speed dive allows them to bypass enemy point defense systems, a feature more commonly seen in cruise missiles and even some guided bombs. In fact, a drone that once flew at about 150 km per hour at low altitude and was easily hunted down, has now, with its new flight dynamics, become an unpredictable and deadly flying target, access to which is a serious challenge even for advanced systems. A challenge that, if mishandled, may result in the loss of interceptor jets like Ukraine's F-16s. Russia and Iran have also redesigned the technical aspects and deployment methods of Shahed drones, though the details have not yet been disclosed. 
What is known is the use of these drones in large squadrons of 6 to 8 units that move simultaneously toward a single target. The result of this tactic is a form of defense saturation, and the creation of heavy casualties at minimal cost. Because even if half of the group hits the target, the target will effectively be destroyed. At the same time, the addition of imaging seekers to the nose of each squadron's leader has made real-time target observation possible. When we examine indicators such as long range, destructive power, speed, flight ceiling, and dive method, the new suicide drones resemble light cruise missiles more than ever. In 21st century battles, victory no longer depends solely on the most expensive equipment, but is the result of a smart combination of technology, conceptual design, and operational tactics. Despite fundamental differences between suicide drones and cruise missiles, especially in terms of propulsion and guidance methods. These drones have gradually taken over some of the cruise missiles missions and have become an inexpensive, flexible and effective battlefield option.